Good morning, Zurich. This is our first full day in Zurich, and today we're taking a guided walking tour of the city. It's time to head out, but it's a short walk from our apartment to the train station where we're going to meet our guide. That's Adler's, where you can get some great fondue. Just look for the blue cow. At the train station, it was market day. We met our tour guide under the train station's guardian angel. And we were quickly on our way. The tour was provided by Lydia of Lindy Switzerland Tours. From the train station we headed south, down Braunhofstrasse, the most expensive shopping street in Europe. Along the way, Lydia gave us details about the city's history. One of the stops was Lindenhof Hill. This plateau overlooks the river on the west side and was once the site of medieval and Roman castles and mansions. Now it's a city park where people come to spend a day and play chess with their friends. Here are some drawings of what the buildings on the site probably looked like. While you are here, don't forget to check out the Lindenhof Fountain, built in 1912, which is of a woman in full battle gear. Back in 1292, the women of Zurich dressed in full battle gear to make the army of Duke Albert of Germany think that there were more soldiers in Zurich than there actually were. It worked, and the German army retreated, and the city of Zurich was saved. After enjoying a view of the river from Lindenhof Hill, we continued south to the Financial District. Here are some of the headquarters of the best known Swiss banks and some remarkable flower displays.
we continue to follow Lydia down to Lake Zurich. After a brief rest at the lake, we then headed over the bridge to the east side of the river. Here you'll find some of the oldest buildings in Old City Zurich. You'll first notice the statue of Pastor Zwingli. Known for promoting Catholic reform, he was killed in a battle between the Reformers and the Catholics in 1531 at age 47. On this side of the river, you'll also find the pedestrian street Niederdorfstrasse, known for its restaurants and shops. On this side of Old City, feel free to drink from the fountains, which come from underground springs. And don't forget to visit the Grossmunster Church, whose construction began in 1100. After exploring this part of Old City, we continued up the hill to take a look at the University of Zurich. Did you know that Albert Einstein studied here? Our two-hour tour, which lasted closer to three hours, ended at an observation platform at the University of Zurich. With commanding views of the city. Thanks again, Lydia, for a very enjoyable morning. After the tour was over, we headed back to Old City to have a little cappuccino and watch the world go by. We then headed across the street to check out the largest collection of dried fruit in the city. Then it was back to the river to relax at the water's edge. After a short break at our apartment, we were then off again heading to dinner. Tonight we're heading off to Le Désolé, one of the oldest Swiss fondue restaurants in Zurich. It's located near the Grossmonster Church. You pick your fondue, we pick the original, which comes with bread, and then you can pick vegetables to add to it. Then start dipping and enjoy. But a word on Swiss etiquette, don't eat directly off the fork that you use to dip. When the cheese is gone, you think you're done, but you're not. Now enjoy the cheese crust.
After dinner, night had fallen, and it was time to walk back to our apartment. After a very full day, we were ready for bed. Until next time, safe travels.